So now let's see how we can work around with the lens flare effect inside a photo P. So in order to work around with the lens flare effect, first of all, you need to go around onto filtered right here and then go around onto render. So once you go around onto render, then you can go around onto lens flare right here. So let me just select out the image right here and then go to re render and then click on lens flare right here, just like this. So if I were to go around over here, you can change around the brightness of the lens right here. You can change around the position of the, um, of the lens as well. Then you can click and drag around to change the location of the lens as well. Then you can go around onto lens 2 or 3 or 4 right here and choose around the type of lens right here, just like this, as you can see right here. So once I go around over here, you can change around the brightness of the lens, uh, lens right here, just like this as well, and press apply, and the lens flare gets applied right there. If I were to go around onto uh, filter right here, then if I were to go around onto render, then it can also render out fibers as you can see right here, just like this. So it completely covers up the image and you can change around the vibrance of the image right here and change around the strength of the uh, fibers as well. And the fibers are dependent on the foreground and background color right here and you can go ahead and uh, randomize out the fibers as well. And that is how you can go around and utilize the lens flare and fiber effect and render them inside a photo P. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.